In this video, I want to show you how you can help your users visualize the filters that are applied into your Power BI reports. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create it as a measure and then use it to show it either on your page or on a tooltip. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump right into this demo that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple Power BI report that just visualizes a fictional company showing the total sales that they had for a period of time. So as you'll notice, we have a couple of visuals that I've already pre-created that it just summarizes those total sales as bar charts, as tables, and as cards. And I also have some values here that you're able to filter the visuals with. So you can choose which beverage or which category you'd like to filter it on and which product specifically, if you want to see that, for example. So if we just jump right into the model view here, it's a simplified uh, view of this fictional company, but essentially we're just focusing on, you know, just a few aspects of it. So for now, I've only brought in just the basic tables that we need. So the order details, orders and categories. I've also created a calendar DAX table here that uh, we are using currently for our um, time intelligence calculations, like how we're visualizing the year month over here. And I've also pre-created this total sales measure, which essentially just calculates the total sales that we need to show or that we're visualizing here now by multiplying the quantity and units price. So as you know, with Power BI reports, they are most of the time dynamic, which means that when you select certain things in your reports, it can filter and slice the visuals in that page. So for example, when we choose a category here, uh, you will see that everything else in this page changes. All the cards are all just looking at the beverage category and also these charts at the bottom. So you'll see it gives us the total sales by uh, time, uh, the category overall sales and the products that belong to that category. And if you're already familiar with Power BI or sort of dynamic reports in general, this concept is easy for you to understand. However, for new users or when you're sharing this report as a static version, let's say a, a screenshot or a PowerPoint, it can be a bit difficult to track what's being filtered. And by default, the easiest way to figure out what is being filtered when you're looking at a visual is by looking at this filter icon when you hover over any of the visuals that you have on your page. When you hover over this filter icon, it will show you what filters and slicers are being applied that is affecting this visual. And while this gets the job done, pretty much, I find it to be not very obvious, at least for new users anyway, and not that flexible when it comes to customization. So I want to show you a different way to visualize the filters that you've applied in your page. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to um, open DAC Studio. This is an external tool that you can install um, as a plugin in your Power BI desktop. Now, if you don't know how to install or use DAC Studio, I actually covered it in a separate video, which goes into much more detail on what you can do with it. Um, so check out that video if you haven't yet. So if you've already got DAX Studio, you simply open it. And if you have it installed as an external tool, it will just simply load the data model in your Power BI report. And then you'll see here are all the tables that we have in our model. So from here, all you need to do is right click on any of the tables and click define filter dump measure. So it generates a DAX code for us that allows us to visualize what filters are being applied to those columns. Now at the moment, because we right clicked the order details table, it's only giving us all the columns in that table, but we want that across all the tables that we have in our model. And to do it, it's actually pretty simple. I'll just delete everything here, right click again uh, to any table and click define filter dump 
measures. So this will give you all of the columns uh, that we have in our model. So if any of these columns are used as a filter in our reports, it will get shown into this measure. So pretty simple. You don't need to know much about this, to be honest. So all you will need to do from here is just copy it. We can close DAX Studio for now. And then we'll just create a new measure and dump it there. So we'll name this one filters applied and then control V that will paste all of that text that we had in our measure. The other thing you need to make sure is you delete the first two lines here. That's just for DAX Studio to evaluate this, uh, this code and this should be what you have at the very end of it and that's really it so if you hit enter that will become a measure for us and we can simply just put it into our report now i'm going to put this in a page first just to show you how it looks like in a page where it will just show you what filters are being applied to it so if we just insert a new text box here i'm just going to put it at the top here i'm going to put filters applied and then from here we're going to use the dynamic uh, narratives here so we're going to type um, filters applied which basically say just give me whatever is in this measure we hit save just make it smaller and there you go so now we are showing all of the filters that are being applied in this page now you'll see that it gives us the category beverages because that's what we currently have filtered with this slicer visual. And if we, let's say, remove that, it will disappear. And if you select multiple ones, it will show up there. And if you choose a product, it will show up there as well. Uh, it's just giving it in a different line but there you go that's what it does so one thing to note with this code is um, if you select more than three uh, values in a specific column it will just roll it up like this so just bear that in mind when you're using that i think it's just because uh, of the line limit if you let's say selected multiple items in a uh, column you just to roll it up into like that if you have more than Three. The other nice thing about this way of showing filters is that you can actually have some control over what's being uh, visualized. So for example, you can see the category name here is being shown both the, um, the table and the column name, which we don't want. So we can just modify that directly into the measure. So let's go to our new measure that we've created here. I know there's quite a lot here, but you might not need any all of this and um, so we just keep them because it doesn't hurt so this is the specific code that handles the filters applied to category name and we know that because like this is what's generated in the code categories category name you can simply just edit this part so we can just say category here and if we look back to that text you'll see there you go so we're only just showing the column name and the custom column name that we've typed into the measure instead of the actual column name itself so pretty handy right so this is the one way that you can show all the filters that are being applied in a page but another way for you to do this is um, if you want to show it dynamically as in you want to show it on the individual visuals themselves you can actually use this as a tooltip because it's now a measure in our model. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna remove all the filters that I've applied here. Um, and let's use this one as an example, a total sales by year month. So I'm just going to drag the filters applied measure into the tooltips well. And what that does is when you hover over any of the elements in this bar chart now, it shows you the values of those bars, including the tooltips themselves. So which means that if we change, let's say the category to beverages, and if you hover over that, you'll see it shows you all the filters applied the same way that it would show on the page 
level. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a visual that helps your users understand what filters are being applied to your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.